In this question, we're given a Fourier pair. We're told that the Fourier transform of this one-sided decaying exponential is 1 over a plus i omega. So this is a Fourier pair. So for this time domain signal, we have this frequency domain signal. This is a Fourier pair. And we're asked to find the Fourier transform, that curly f is a Fourier transform, of this. So this kind of function, e to the minus 3t, is exactly the same as that. We simply note that a equals 3, and it's exactly the same. So we can simply say that the Fourier transform of that is equal to that there with a replaced by 3. So obviously it's a function of frequency, so we leave omega there. Okay, so if this was, uh, if the very, if the signal was called x, this would have been called x of omega. So it's a function of frequency. So that's for the first one. Now the second function is very similar, but this time. We've got a scaling coefficient 4, and the, the value of a is 1. So here we have a equals 1, and we have this scaling factor there. So if I get this out of the way, the answer to this one will be 4 multiplied by 1 over a plus i omega, where I replace, instead of a, its value 1. And that 4, we can simply write up there, so it becomes 4 over 1 plus i omega. Okay, so that's that, and that one is there. The next question wants the inverse Fourier transform. So this time we're given the function in the frequency domain. So we're given this, basically, and we're being asked for the equivalent, x of t. So in this case, you would perhaps consider rewriting this as... the inverse Fourier transform of 1 over 2 plus i omega times 5. And there you would simply have 5 times e to the minus 2t times a unit step. So we've put the value of a equals 2, and that's your scaling factor of 5. So here you would simply observe that a equals 2. <clears throat> now for the last question, very similar, but this time the denominator doesn't look um, it doesn't look like a plus i omega. We have this factor of 2, so I can't immediately assume that a equals 6. So I'd need to rewrite that. So I'd have to rewrite it as something like 1 over 2 is a common factor, 3 plus i omega. Now, this is similar to that, I can, I can now say a equals 3. So I can now look at that and say, well, a equals 3. So I can write the answer as, this is my constant, 1 over 2. So it's 1 over 2 
times e to the minus 3t u of t. So we need to look at this very carefully to make sure it's in the right format before we um, rush to write the answer. So that's how you would answer a question.